It's a bit windy up on this mountain today. So oh, we're at the second location of the day. Uh, I'm not going down into this one. Again, I have a previous video on this one, so you can check it out. But uh, Graham's just got down and he's on his way out now. And uh, Hello. it's uh, not the easiest way out. Let's turn you round. We're going to have a look. Oh no, he's all right. He's out. He got out quicker than I did before. Which says a lot. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. All right, Mia, you giving it a go? So, uh, yeah, sorry about the wind. Um, but yeah, what is this? You can probably see the, uh, the, tar the uh, tarmac top here. This would have been buried. Uh, this is a Second World War um, magazine for um, gun emplacement. Um, but we're going to move on. Uh, we've got a couple of deep shells and plotting rooms to do next. So uh, we'll see you down there in a minute. So we're in our next location of the day. And this one is South Forland's plotting room. Uh, battery plotting room to be precise. If I angle you up, you can see where we came in. Nice tall ladder there. Uh, yeah, so plotting room, basically, um, yeah, the uh, gun emplacement is up top. This is where they would have planned where they are going to fire the guns. Just a quick walk around, because obviously, it's, well, I've got a full video of this somewhere else. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't worry about it. Needles? Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like it's been down here a while, so maybe before they uh, put the bars in and restricted access. Yeah. And there's the needle, 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 so you've got all the original ventilation ducts and they've all got the old original paint and a lot of the old signage which is really nice to see just a shame that some people have written over the top of it and this is why I prefer this one and there's the air filtration system these would have been the filters which you can see a bit rotten these days some light in there and uh, yeah, no, all the old signage. Excellent. I'm guessing that's emergency in. Main in. See, I like this one just for this room. It's lovely. But we have more locations to do today, so let's crack on and go to the next one. This one's exiting the plotting room. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go Shall over we? there, and there's a deep shelter. So uh, we'll go over there now. Ah, that's better. That's it. Yeah. So uh, we're in the third low, no, fourth location for the day. Um, this is South Forland's battery deep shelter. You can see here that this place is locked. Um, we have key holders' permission today to go down here. So let's go down. We'll have a quick tour of this one, and then uh, we'll move on to the next place. So yeah, this is Battery Deep Shelter. Uh, again, big gun emplacements up top. And this was a deep shelter for the people who worked here to take refuge in if the battery came under attack. So these stairs are a bit ruined. I'm going to turn the camera off and rejoin you at the bottom. So yeah, here we are down the deep shelter. Now this site has two deep shelters. Um, this is unfortunately the uh, condition-wise the, the lesser of the two. Oh, there's Jake, just blind him. Uh, but again, I've I've already got videos on this place. This is just a quick walk around, little vlog today. Um, again, you can find the history on this and links to my other video online. Where are we going? We'll just keep going. Oh yeah. So yeah, Second World War, deep shelter everyone. So yeah, let's move on to the next place. I've lost count of the uh, which location this is today, five? But uh, yeah, this is South Forland's Fortress deep shelter. Yeah, so uh, we've just had a barbecue, uh, middle of the day, now we're going down to the deep shelter. So uh, again, just a vlog today, we're not uh, doing a massive explore video, we're just hitting loads of sites, just for the sheer fun of it really. So let's go down. 
Ah, oh, that's better. Wow, great. So, yeah. Down into the deep shelter. This is the better of the two deep shelters. Uh, as you can see, I mean, there's still a lot of the cladding that's up on the walls, but uh, as I say, we have been here before, and I will leave a link to the videos below. Just out for a bit of fun today. Now, some of you who watched our Christmas video may recognize this stretch. This is where we actually filmed the uh, Christmas special. What have you found? Oh, Some the original, mold! Original yeah. candy floss. Candy floss. Yeah. Yeah, it's there is a lot. I must admit, I did. I remember seeing a lot of them. Yeah, that's what I remember. Look at that for mold. That's disgusting. And also, yeah. this is Fun some mold. soda made from Silver Spring. Which oh, was, Silver Spring. That's yeah. the one near the reservoir down yeah. the road. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, actually. I can't remember how old that is. Well, obviously that's not as old as uh, the reservoir itself because that was built in the um, uh, during the Victorian Ooh. period. But uh, yeah, excellent. Well, let's have a little run yeah, round. We've got uh, Max, Amelia, and uh, Graham down there. But yeah, this is where we shot our uh, Christmas video, and this is where Jihadi Dave came from. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're just out on a out on a bit of a trip this afternoon, just uh, hitting some of the uh, some of the things in the area, having a bit of fun, beers, barbecue, and deep showers, everyone. But this is the this is far better uh, quality wise than the last one. So as you can see, there's been no fires down here. Everything's relatively clean. So this, this is one of the few places where you've still got the uh, the wood on the side. So they would have put the wood this far up and then used this kind of felt cladding uh, around the rest of it. And then the wood the other side. It's quite interesting. Lots of ventilation as well. But a lot of the ventilation has just been completely trashed, unfortunately. It's not just fallen down, this one. People have damaged this. Oh, here we go. So here's a better example of the cladding they would have had up the sides. You can see where some of it's come down. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So there has been a fire in here. You can see the light's not reflecting very well where all the soot is. And you can definitely see that this has been burnt. Oh. Yeah. Bit bit smoggy in that one. Oh yeah. Like the water in. Oh, fall over things. Do like a good time, shall we? Oh, there's been a backfire down here. Oh, I got one going this way. That's the way in. Oh well, we've done a lap. Excellent. Oh, so yeah, that's South Foreland's uh, Fortress Deep Shelter. On to the next location. Oh yeah. Yeah, so now leaving Fortress uh, Deep Shelter and uh, we're going to go over to Fortress Plotting Room. So join us in a second. Give it a go. Yeah, I completely forgot to film anything on the inside of this one, but that is location, uh, whatever it is. Um, so that is the plotting room of Fortress. And uh, we're going to move on now. We've decided to hit a couple of other sites in the area. So uh, yeah, we'll meet you then. Right, so we've come to our next location of the day. Uh, this is where people would have come originally to access these tunnels but they have been bricked up and a lot of stuff's been dumped in the way as you can see so now the only way in is a climb up there so yeah we've now come down you can see the entrance up here but there is a little side thing I didn't actually show this in the first video that I did but there's a little, ca a little cave uh, let's turn, get some light going only, it's only very little, tiny little thing. It's, uh, oh yeah, it's underground technically. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's go back out and we'll jump up. 
So Jake's going to demonstrate how it's done because I can't climb and film at the same time. Uh, that and Jake is just, he's the abnormally uh, yeah. good at this stuff. Jake the ferret. Jake the ferret, yeah, that's what we've called him. And he's going to show us how it's done. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. It's actually, no, it's, it's not that bad a climb. Are you sure you can do that? And there he goes, it, he's in. Yeah, I should probably mention what this is. So, um, these were tunnels overlooking the English Channel towards France. Um, and it was a searchlight and machine gun emplacement. Uh, which, yeah, let's, let's climb up. So, everyone's up now. We're uh, discussing exit strategies already. Uh, but we're now going to go into here. Which again, I have done another video on this place, but uh, ju just a quick tour because we're just doing a vlog. Yeah, so whilst these guys are just sorting it out, oh, there we go. So whilst these guys are just sorting out their stuff, we'll have a quick look through, very quickly tell you what this is. Um, so this is in the cliffs and it was a searchlight and machine gun emplacement uh, looking over the English Channel. And yeah, the construction here is pretty weird. You've got bricks pretty much in every section with tin above and then raw chalk. I can't think of any other places I've been where this is actually uh, the preferred construction method, but this one's got like a concrete wall all the way down the side, which is weird. But yeah, I mean, refer to the original video uh, if you want to see what's at the top of there, because I did climb up there. But uh, again, that's not the purpose of today. Just oh, out of Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, let's go down. Huh? What's that? We... Whoa! Okay, fair enough. You will not see this in the original video. I complete. I never noticed those. Look. That's amazing. Actually, he's got the right idea. You shine it at an angle, you can kind of see it better. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, I, I must admit, those, those are brilliant, though. Look at those. That's amazing. So, yeah, originally, you would have got in this way, which uh, we just showed you. So you walk all the way down here. Long old tunnel here. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of stuff to walk over here. Old bricks and uh, rocks. And yeah, so you can see here there is some daylight coming out. And uh, this would have been the way they would have come in originally to man the positions during the Second World War. So yeah. Uh, so. It's been a long day so far, but we are hitting another location, so uh, we'll catch you up in just a minute. Rather quickly. <laughs> so, last location of the day. I'm trying to uh, keep low so the wind isn't too much uh, too affected, but we are going down into this hole here, which is yet another second world war deep shelter for a gun emplacement that was originally up top but it's all houses now so uh let's go down right so just come down from the entrance and uh already there's some weird stuff someone's put up a sign saying property protected by fat naked guy well yeah if we see him we'll uh, kick him in the nuts i suppose oh falling rock zone why see this location over the past couple of months had all sorts of weird things go on um people have been putting up uh like kids dolls with nails through their heads and all sorts of weird stuff um but yes this is deep shelter for the gun battery above but yeah this one is quite unique in the way it was dug uh it has a very long chalk tunnel yeah, that then leads oh we've got some fresh chalk fall uh that's come from up here so yeah it goes to show that these places aren't always 100 percent safe well duh what i know why have i'm gonna take these down on my way out this is just stupid someone's come down here with a hammer and nails and put these in I will be ejecting this crap.
Yeah, so I do like this place because a lot of the yellow paint on the uh, mining rings is still very visible. It gives it much, uh, quite a bit of a better feel because uh, a lot of the other deep shelters, all of this is obviously rusted off over the years. Yeah, it's got to be, God, I don't know, fourth, fifth time down in this place. It's, uh, it's a classic, everyone knows about it. But uh, still, really nice to come down here sometimes. Yeah, really nice. I do like this one. Has so much of this uh, cladding uh, still left. Yeah, at the top of these stairs. There is some really interesting graffiti, which we didn't get on our first video down here. So actually, I will take a trip up. You're all right. It's all right. Uh, do you just time for a shit? Go. <laughs> just taking a dump there. <laughs> right, I'm going to head up these stairs because I know there's something up here. Right, let's go up the stairs. So first time I came here, I didn't realise that this was up here and we completely missed it. Didn't spot it, which is easily done. Well, I think it's this staircase. I can't remember. Is this deep shell? I've got uh, two or three staircases. I don't remember. I've been in too many. Yeah, same here. So. Yeah, I think it's this one. It's a really good bit of uh, pencil graffiti. Um, which, when we first came here, me and Badger completely missed it. Uh, oh, that's a bit bendy. Here we go. So yeah, this would have been one of the original entrances. But here on the side, check that out. Try and get the lighting. Focus. There we go. Uh, I'll take a photo of that because it's too long to get in the camera shot and be legible. So I'll get a photo. So yeah, that's uh, location Six, seven, something like that uh, for today. We're gonna stop by one more. Whether or not we'll go inside is uh, yet to be seen. So uh, join you in just a minute.